Hello everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Tuesday, January 10th, 2012, and I'm Darko. My website is right here, but that's not really the point of this video. Not to promote my website, not to cover the news. This is going to be a very interesting video. Maybe I'll lose subscribers, maybe I'll lose viewers. But as you can tell, I'm not really that uh, big on getting a lot of views. In fact, I don't want too many views because I get too many people and attract too many um, entities. Those entities are what I'm going to discuss in this video. They're called trolls or psycholo psychological operations agents or whatever they call themselves. Now this individual that I'm going to discuss is just an example. Uh, he, very good chance that he's not a troll or an agent. But I'm going to use what he said as an example. All right. And um, moving on here, this is the video that I put out last time. Um, I attract a lot of trolls, a lot of attention. I've had the most comments I've ever had um, in one of my videos. I had 45 for this one, and then I had uh, 44 for this one. Now, a decent amount of them are due to trolls. Now, what their point is is to divide everybody up. This is uh, the individual's channel now. He has a different channel, John D.U., uh, but his original channel is Mr. Faith and Physics channel. Now, I block this individual. I'm calling him an individual because I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt still at this point of not being a troll or a sentinel. Now, this isn't going to be a waste of my time, so I, if you want to leave comments, say, oh, I wouldn't get too worked up about it. I'm not worked up. As you can hear him in my voice. I'm talking very slowly, and I've, um, I actually haven't even put a lot of thought into this. So I just kind of came home from a brief break, and um, he left a comment on my thing. With his second, after I blocked him, he came up with a second thing and left this. So I will go through it from the beginning, and I had written all of this out right here, and I'm going to read it to you. So please just, uh, hopefully you can remain patient and if you don't want to watch it, you don't like it, that's fine. But I'm putting it out there as an educational piece of information for those making videos such as Dutch Sense or anybody else that is under constant attack for what they say. Uh, this is not a joke. Um, these are people's reputations on the line. Uh, I, I've hardly ever uh, pointed out certain individuals as far as the elites go. I know Barack Obama's a puppet, and the only time I point him out individually is because, well, he has about 20 different aliases like this individual. So it kind of makes sense. So without further ado, let's move forward. Okay, the goal of this video is to provide a listener, uh, viewer, with an excellent example of how someone who questions the accepted, accepted authority over the individual, the established hierarchy, or raises intriguing questions about our way of life is handled by the same authority or hierarchy. This is the first step, neutralizing your enemy. Of course, the next are murder and such, but hopefully that won't be the case for all of those who are the targets. Please take this video and what is said, not as an attack on the individual, but like I said before, as a way to identify a possible sentinel, sentinel sorry, in the matrix. Because when a sentinel is neutralized, another is dispatched, meaning there are more to come after this. <laughs> okay, I will cover this example once more to demonstrate how I was approached by what I believe is a highly sophisticated agent, or what I refer to as a sentinel, someone who is dispatched to neutralize defected batteries. Follow carefully as you will learn the subtleties of their craft. Here is some background on how he approached me, I said you because this was an original message to him, and then I decided not to waste my, any more time on him because I can't go anywhere with this individual. So I'm putting it out there for all of you. So again, here's some background on how you approach me, him approaching me, and how I responded to him. Please review this and continue to the second wave of comments. So it says here, um, so there's no confusion. So this is kind of like a letter from me to him, from me to him, but it's for you. I'm sorry I overdid this, but this is just to explain this. First GGN video, Mr. Faith and Physics commented on overdue library fees, warrant arrests, calling all Starship Troopers and Lucifer's justice system. 
comments, questions, block number one by this individual. Okay, quote, one of your best, but it's McCartney, not McCarthy, if you're talking about the other Beatle, Paul McCartney. I really enjoy your rapid fire without sounding like you're tweaking to the point synopsis of lesser headline events. Very good work. Thank you. I'm not entirely sure, though. Are you against teaching, quote, sensitivity training? Uh, I think that means gaze, replying to gaze, or just brainwashing in general. If you are a, quote, God hates fags, end quote, kind of guy, then I'm in the wrong place. But still, nice work. Okay, you make a positive observation. Great. Then say, quote, one of your best, which, end quote, leads me to believe you have seen many, if not a good deal of my work on GGN. Yes or no? Can you see why I would recommend you check out more of my videos instead of asking me to explain my entire philosophy, ideology in a comment board, or even in a personal message, which cannot be done? Then you correct my pronunciation of McCartney, which again is great. Thank you for that. I'm always open to positive constructive criticism, although I would have to mention I believe it was a non-vital detail as the Beatles are pretty well known globally for some time now, and my point was sure to be received effectively. Then you say almost to a T what two longtime listeners have commented or told me in the past. Quote, I really enjoy your rapid fire. Some people have called it machine gun news uh, without sounding like you're tweaking to the point synopsis of lesser headline events. All right. I thought that was a little fishy because that's what a troll would do but I gave you the benefit of the doubt still. Shall we proceed? So then we move on here. Okay, you then say, I'm, quote, not entirely sure, though. Are you against teaching, quote, sensitivity training to gays or brainwashing in general? If you're a God hates fags kind of guy, then I'm in the wrong place, but still, nice work. Honest inquiry here. Your initial comment saying, one of your best, again, leading me to believe you have seen others, which would imply you understand what I'm saying, proposing, because I've covered it numerous times in the past. I still give you the time at this point and the benefit of the doubt by replying at Mr. Faith and Physics. McCartney, that's right. Thank you for the correction. As far as your question, am I a, quote, God hates fags person, end quote, I replied to an earlier inquiry and replied at Illuminati Thoughts, I appreciate your comment and want you to know that I respect atheists for the rigorous dedication to empiricism. That was what I said three days ago. My reply to your, quote, God hates fags, end quote, question was answered with, quote, I respect atheists for their rigorous dedication to empiricism, end quote. Again, I had included this in my videos in the past, meaning people who say, quote, one of your best videos, you know, saying that to me, which is to basically insinuate that you have seen many of my prior videos. Some more background for you so you can get a clearer picture of the events transpired thus far. Numerous viewers have notified me at this time that Illuminati Thoughts was a troll, wasting people's time and trying to distract those in the comment board, also to discredit the uploader of the videos. At that point, I had blocked less than 15 people in two years, and that's a liberal estimate. I avoid blocking at all costs, usually after I expend more than two hours on a commentator, and the commentator appears not to be concerned with reaching an intelligent point. I then blocked him. Then you came along with a few other possible suspects. Okay. I then follow up in a second comment because your question required more time and space in the comment of me. At Mr. Physics, Faith and Physics, quote, I've also stated publicly before that it is my belief that homosexuals are spiritually advanced, but life like someone's philosophy cannot be explained in a comment board nor in three videos. Hopefully that answers your inquiry. Okay, at this point, I'm a little wary as any semi-intelligent, cognizant human being aware of the existence of trolls in psychological operations should be. Second, GGN titled video uh, Mr. Faith in Physics commented on. Okay, comment question block number two. Hey, I don't question authority. I know nothing. Good report. But question to you. Are they creating this police state because, quote, they, in parentheses, another side of, quote, we, end of parentheses, are inherently evil? Or do they just know something that we don't, 
and in their own sad way, they are actually trying to protect us and save what they can, question mark, at any cost, question mark, because yes, there are a lot of us, in quotation marks, broken, stupid and belligerent, drunk and sedated. Need I go on, question mark? So that was Mr. Faith and Physics' uh, second question. Okay, you start again with a positive comment. Good report. Again, preceded by a big but. That led me to immediately perceive you and your inquiries as a possible troll, a person who is purposefully wasting others' time and distracting the other viewers. Did I use, quote, us with the words broken, stupid, and belligerent in these videos? Let me answer that for you. No. So you decided to sum up what I said and reiterated it in your own way. Then you proceeded to leave me in an ultimatum or leave me an ultimatum between, quote, they or them being inherently evil, or they just know something that we don't. And in their own sad way, they're actually trying to protect and save what they can. So at this point, I'm ready to hopefully find some kind of resolution uh, with this individual. I then proceed to answer his question, trying again to not to not have my words be misconstrued by this individual. So this is what I said at Mr. Faith in Physics, quote, I'm trying to figure that out myself, but I don't think, quote, they are creating this police state because, quote, they, another side of we, are inherently evil. I don't perceive reality in that uh, manner that you just described, so I'm not sure how to answer your question. I understand the philosophy, ideology that you are injecting here, and I don't support or condone it. The quote, Watchmen, a movie or a comic, asked that question. It was written by a Freemason, and it is a legitimate question. I'm not bashing Freemasons, but it, like I said, it is a legitimate question. However, I respect them for challenging us, talking about the, just the powers that be. It, might, and it may surprise some of my viewers, but that's how I feel about it. I've mentioned this before, but it says here, In my opinion, that was an honest and polite response to your inquiry, hoping for an end to this back and forth that was leading nowhere. Next, comment question block number three. At Darko, ooh, ouch, the Watchmen? Isn't that Jehovah Witness or something? Question mark. No, not me. Okay, fair enough. What is their motivation to, quote, direct the show, end quote, if not greed, dominance, or other greater or lesser, quote, or, I'm sorry, question mark. It's a very uh, confusing question, actually, dude. Because they're not really, uh, they're not really, um, what do you call it, uh, real sentences or real questions. They're just kind of sentence fragments in that. Dominant or other greater or lesser, quote, uh, question mark, sins, evil, or just naughty, question mark. Are they sick, question mark? What is your dot, 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 philosophy, ideology, question mark? I figure you think the devil is making them do it. Or does your brand place lesser importance on that side of the Bible? question mark just asking research call it that was a humongous comment with a humongous amount of questions which required a humongous amount of answers and thus time on my behalf now this is the point of a troll so I'm not saying that he's a troll at this point I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt and you will see in the comments prior and the comments uh, coming up how I uh, not reacted, but responded to this individual. So for time's sake, because it's such a, I don't want to say a loaded question, like I said, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt, so I will, you know, answer it as effectively as I can. But it's going to take time to break this one down, this monster down. So I'm going to do two videos, and then when you join me, if you want to join me, that's cool. If not, I understand. It could be boring for you. But either way, join me in part two, and we'll break this one down.